welcome to this video. So I kind of had this vision in my mind for the past couple of days and I just finally wanted to let it out. So this is what I will be doing today. You have some black and you have browns and got some glitter on the lids. And then I'm using these new, um, they're new to me because I just bought them, these Lorac 3D Luster Drops. I've heard really good things about them and they were awesome when I swatched them in the store. So that's what I have right here on the outer part of my eyes as well as the inner corner. And I think, I actually kind of really like this. I might go back and pick up the gold one as well because I swatched them both and they were both really pretty. So we just have some really dark eyes and we have some purple and red vampy ombre lips so if you would like to see how i got this then just stay tuned i've already gone ahead and primed my eyelids and i'm just taking this black base and spreading it all over my eyelid trying not to go above the crease then you can take any black matte eyeshadow i'm just using sugar pills bulletproof and put that right over the black base that we just put down And make sure to bring that shadow all the way down across your bottom lash line. Using this medium brown eyeshadow, we're just going to try to blend out the edges of the black. It's going to get really dark and messy, but that's okay. We're not really looking for a clean, precise eyeshadow application right now. And then I'm just taking this glittery highlight shade and blending it down into the brown. You can peel off the tape and now you're just going to have that really sharp edge. Now you can go ahead and take a cotton ball or a q-tip with makeup remover and just clean up around your eyes. I was out of frame but this is just a thin line of painterly paint pot and then I patted with a thin brush the Lorac 3D Luster Drops over it. And here I'm just adding a sticky base onto my eyelid so that the glitter that we're going to add is going to stick to it well. And I'm just using a dark silver multicolored glitter by LA Splash. Go ahead and line your top and bottom waterline with a black liner. And then we're going to add a drop of the 3D Luster Drops onto the inner corner. And you can blend it out either with your finger or with a Q-tip. I do use both. I've already gone ahead and applied my foundation and concealer and I set all of that and now I'm just contouring, adding a shimmery deep pink blush and adding a slight highlight to the top of my cheekbones. One thing I want to say with the Lorac 3D Luster Drops is be very careful because it have all types of glittery fallout all on my cheeks and it just enhances the highlight that I put on my face. So if you can, try to make sure that your face is completely clean before you go ahead and put on your foundation and everything like that. Actually, I got an idea. So what I'm gonna do with the lip pencil is fill in the outer corners. And then I'm gonna add the Young Rapunzel lipstick to the outer corners, and then I'm gonna fill the middle in with Max Diva lipstick. And once you apply the red, you can just go back with your lip pencil and touch up the purple because some of it will have disappeared. Yeah, if you want, you can also, if you want that high gloss shine, you can kind of just pat some clear gloss right on over your lips. But I kind of like this. I want to thank you guys so much for watching. If you would like, you can follow me on Tumblr and Instagram at Live Classy, or you can check me out on Facebook. Like my page on facebook.com backslash Live Classy. I will appreciate it. And if you can, take a minute to subscribe right up here, and I will see you guys in another video. Thank you.